We look at highs right around 80 or warmer for both weekend days, Saturday and Sunday. And ahead of this, mainly dry weather once we get through a few showers or rumble of thunder early Saturday. Much of Saturday afternoon and Sunday shape it up to be warm and dry. Current readings they are in the 50s, a little on the cool side. 40s closer to the lake shore, and that east wind is going to be a factor once again as we get into our Friday afternoon. Now, the entire area, we're under a frost advisory, which means conditions could get favorable right around the low to mid 30s for at least the development of some patchy frost. The freeze warnings that a bit more of a concern is up there towards central Michigan where they could dip back into the upper 20s into Friday morning. So if you're thinking of teeing it up tomorrow morning, that golf forecast could get a few frost delays first thing in the morning. Brighter skies and sunshine close to 60 by noon and will warm through the mid to upper 60s into the afternoon. Keep in mind though, cooler near the lake. If you're planning on heading out towards Eagles Landing or Detweiler, those are the two courses that could feel that cool easterly breeze dropping us back at the 50s late in the day. Spring rainfall, we've been doused with heavy amounts of rain. Now over six inches of total rainfall. That puts us over three inches above average just for the month of April alone. And if it ended today, the fourth wettest April on record, and we still have more rain to get through as we go into our Friday evening. So it's time that rain out. You're going to see dry conditions the rest of the evening tonight. More of an easterly wind will stick with us tonight. Very light. The clouds are going to be out of the area tomorrow morning, so it will be a bright start to the day, but increasing clouds and more sunshine uh, will be expected as we go through the morning hours. There's the clouds that will increase, but it's not till about lunchtime. There's a clock 1 p.m. Clouds will start to thicken up through the afternoon. We're still going to be dry through about 5 p.m. The shower chance is going to roll in close or to about 6 to 7 p.m. and it will initially arrive west of Toledo and by about 8 p.m. better chance of some rain showers as we head towards sundown on Friday. So it's very late in the day. We do get rain chances. This should be a quarter of an inch or less Friday night and into early Saturday morning. Some lingering showers as we go through daybreak 8 a.m. on Saturday. You may wake up to some wet weather, but once we get through that, it'll turn warmer and dry into Saturday afternoon. So if you're looking to mow the lawn, common a thing this time of the year Saturday drying out into the afternoon. You may have to wait till about mid afternoon to get that lawnmower out mainly dry on Sunday and highs are expected to reach toward the lower 80s on Sunday for Friday mid to upper 60s. There will be some areas south of Toledo that get towards 70 degrees, but if you're a lakeshore area, that cool easterly wind may keep you in the 50s. Clouds will increase with that chance of showers uh, as we go into the evening. So late day rain showers could even get a rumble of thunder. You know, we'll see that rain chance continue early Saturday. That will wrap up for dry weather into the afternoon, right around 80 degrees Saturday afternoon, and we could get close to a record high on Sunday. The record currently stands at 84 degrees. We're expecting 82, and it will be a warmer and humid feel first thing in the morning for that Glass City Marathon. Right around 80 degrees on Monday, better chance of scattered showers and storms Monday as a cold front makes its way into the area, and it only drops us back into the low and mid 70s as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Those should be a couple dry days before some additional rain chances do come back as we get into Thursday and Friday and a stronger cold front for the first weekend in May may take our highs back into the 60s as we get into that first weekend in May. So what do you think about storms if it's going to be warmer like that? Right. We don't have any risk of severe weather, which is going to be good news. Uh, you'll hear more about it in the next couple of days. It's back into the Central Plains, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. They're going to be under the risk of severe storms for multiple days, including tonight, tomorrow, and into the weekend. We just don't have the ingredients put together for any strong storms. And I do expect if we get any rain this weekend, it'll be most likely Saturday, but most of Saturday afternoon and Sunday, generally looking pr fairly dry. Awesome. All right, Thanks, Chris. Chris. Thanks.